Hello. Hello. Hello, my children. Oh my gosh. The most recent. Have you seen that Flat Earth documentary? I'm sorry, we're getting we into didn't this now. It, but we'll finish it tonight. Oh my God. I've watched it three times. Really? In three days. Why? It's just important. And I love watching it. And then you know, my the friends. There's a documentary on Netflix called. Behind the Curve, which Behind is the curve. so funny. Um, yeah, but there's like a woman in it. Um, her name's Patricia. And I just keep thinking about her because she has a very nice talking voice and she does live broadcasts on YouTube. Now I think I'm Patricia. My ideas are. What are they based in? Woo! Oh no! <laughs> Have you seen that flat? <laughs> this is very unprofessional, Cass. Um, I'll have you know that um, this is my profession, so it can't be. Can I tell you something that's insane? Oh my god, I'm 38 today. I'm wasting away before our very eyes. We have long grapes today. Today we have. It's too big. It's too long. Incredibly long grapes. Which are fucking sick. Love these grapes. It's nearly as big as my pinky finger. Scotch and Coke, or if you're cast, just Coke. And <laughs> dark chocolate. Um, I don't <laughs> like this. Because we're getting fucking decadent tonight. It so. is decadent. Um, this is smooth blend. And it's too smooth. I don't like it. It tastes like the texture is smooth and it's bad. I'll eat all of it, but it's not good. Are you happy to watch the Flat Earth documentary again tonight? <laughs> <laughs> Make it fall. <laughs> yes, I want to watch it every day. I tried to get into Flat Earth. You just have to give up so much because that's how everyone gets into Flat Earth. They're like, I tried to disprove Flat Earth and now I'm a Flat Earther. And I just wanted to feel the thrill of like not knowing what the world was because I thought that would be fun. You have to give up so much of what is known. I remember you saying, yeah, it's like you need a uh, A, a gateway yeah, you need, <laughs> conspiracy. You need a... Yeah, you need to fall for another conspiracy first. Mm. The only thing that was sort of like, oh, that's interesting, um, was the flight path thing. But mm. Well, um, so there's a YouTuber by the name of H Bomber Guy who did like a, he did this amazing video where he sat down and he was like, all right, every single flat earther, uh, like, it, uh, what do you call it? Uh, flat Earth evidence, piece of evidence, or any any argument they've ever made. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sit down with every single one of these points of evidence, and I'm going to tell you why it's bullshit. <laughs> and it's like an hour, maybe an hour and a half long video. It's very good. And he does the flight path one, where they're like, uh, they don't do, you You can't get a nonstop flight from here to here because that would prove that the Earth is flat or whatever. And H. Bomber guy in his video, he's like, all right, that's actually a very compelling piece of evidence. If you ignore the fact, if you ignore the fact that there are non-stop flights from this plate <laughs> to this plate. <laughs> and, and then he's like, and this is the funniest part. I'm pretty sure this happens in the video. But he's like, because the in the Flat Earther video, he's yeah. going through all the flights. Because there's a big website where you can look at every flight in the world. Flight he's tracker. Going through, yeah, he's going through every single flight. And he's like, look, you can't see it. H-Bomber guy pauses that video and he's like, there, there it is. It's actually in the video. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's very funny. We got a donation. Five Thank bucks. Thank you. More decadence. More decadence. That wasn't a donation goal, but it is now. <laughs> you have to only eat everything with two points of contact. Two points of contact. That's the posh rule. That's why teacups are so small. Mm. People who are rich uh, often have atrophied muscles from inactivity. Let me get in here. <laughs> you here must is, mom. The dark chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> if it weren't a thing, it would be a Disney movie. Do you know what I mean? The dark chocolate. The dark chocolate. It kills one's soul, burning it away to nothing. My it weekend's been lovely, Ethan. I can read all of your lovely comments. We've got a second screen now where I can do all of my business for the streaming and such. And so now I can see all of your little beautiful comments where you only say nice things to me. I can see all of the donations as they come in. And 
everything will be a lot easier, but this is not a permanent setup. This has made my job largely redundant, <laughs> and I'm thrilled. Well, I could be playing the game. Oh, you could, but we're talking about Fire Earth. Mm. Well, well, thank you for the bit. Thank you. Um, Ethan, Good please watch it. Please watch your documentary. It is just... Oh, my God. Let's do this. It's also really nice because... Oh, that's going to be annoying. It has a lot of stuff. Like, they're not... No one's mean in it. Everyone tries really hard to be like, you need to understand everyone's viewpoint, and it's really beautiful. Mm. I think there's an options menu for that, because I don't want him talking in combat. Talking is for... My pit boy. This thing's got... It. It's like... It's like Siri now. Ugh. Mm. Turned her off. No worries, Kanala. What did we do last week? I forgot. Um, I think we went to a place called Whittleton Creek. Oh, yeah. <gasps> oh, my God. Gut. Every time I do this. No, that's me. Our chocolate's no good. You know, I actually hate dark chocolate, but right now, I'm kind of digging it. It does go with grapes. I prefer more bitter. I can't get into bitter chocolate. Chocolate should be sweet. Chocolate should be Cadbury. Did I tell you how I got into really dark chocolate? No. Um, I would be, when I was doing my honours and I'd have to go and like study, yeah. Yeah. I would go into the library at uni because if I worked at a uni computer, I would feel, I because they're, you know, finite number of computers there, I would feel really bad if I wasn't doing proper uni work on them. Of course you would. So it was a really good way. <laughs> it was a really good way to make sure I got my work done. But then what would happen, because inherently I never want to study, is I'd go to the library, start working, and then be like, I don't have enough food. This is, I'll be hungry. You can't work on an empty stomach. And then I'd go home so I could eat a lot of food. So I'd be like, okay, bring food in. So I would bring chocolate in, but then I'd eat the entire block of chocolate and then run out of food and then have to go. So eventually I just started getting darker and darker chocolate. Until I think I got the 95% one. Oh, 95%. You could, so like the block's like this big. You could eat like three millimeters square of it at a time because it was so bitter. But you put it in your mouth and it starts melting and it ends up being quite a nice flavor if you really dull it out into really, really small things. Um, but... I guess my need to not be studying was so great that I just got used to it and would eat the entire block in a sitting and have to go home anyway. I got my part. <laughs> you sure about this? We did really well, oh, actually. Something happened. What happened? Uh, uh, the the boy. The boy was shows what... See, he's The broke. boy, what shows the thing? He you broke. scroll down on it. What's wrong with you, Russell? Russell? Russell, you broke. Uh... Hang on, I'm just going to quickly fix this. Um, so the Hawk, I didn't notice Logan Paul in that Flat Earth documentary at all. I think they're Was different. Is he in the Logan Paul? I don't think so. Jack showed me the other day an amazing mm -hmm. video that Jake, the younger one, the one that went to the, the forest. Ugh. He did a video where... Um, some kid made like a music video where he was like, I love you, Jake Paul. You're a great guy, yada, yada, yada. And Jake Paul's like, hey, I'm going to make a music video with you or whatever to make you, you know, to, to say thanks or whatever. And they do a music video together and they're rapping against each other or whatever. And it's a it's bad. It's very cringy. Um, if if I were a less cynical person, I would say that it is still cute. But as Jackson pointed out, and I could not stop laughing about, Jack said, imagine being that kid and then growing up and realizing that Jake Paul didn't try very hard. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and that made me laugh quite a lot. No. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Now that we've talked about Jake Paul and said that he's bad, are we cool? I don't Cass, know. Cass, I was asking a question. I don't know. I don't yes either. Give me a shot if you need Yeah, get out of here. <coughs> so what are you doing? What's uh, happening? I usually forget. It's been a little while. I'm kind of just like dealing with basic necessities, like how I weigh a lot 
And oh my god, oh, when no. the fuck did this happen? You did that. No, I didn't. You have to. Have. Oh my god, there's a lot of bodies here. You know, I'm not responsible for every fucking body on the floor. Oh, gross. You did the Get anything. Yeah. I know. I know the yeah. rules of Fallout. No, it might not have been me. I'm not the only person shooting people in this fucking game. Wait, so everyone... There's like a war happening, Cass. It could not have been me. Wars are exhausting. Just yeah. stop it already. Yeah, I know. Stop wars. Oh my God, it's so boring. <laughs> like Natalie Portman said, stop wars. All right, cool. Oh God. You... Oh, that's so gross. She wore a hat once, a uh, hat of shit Shirt. that said stop wars. In it's the a Star Wars, yeah. I know. Why are you broken, Russell? Hey, What's up? he might be trying to... I think we really... were going to do his... Yeah, he's trying to tell me something, maybe. I'd like to ask you something. Whatever. Let's get going. Maybe if I just talk to him a bunch. Because I think I actually want to do his quest. Maybe. Yeah, I think I want to do his quest. Let me ask you something. Yeah, do his quest. Let me use your skills. Let me ask you something. Blanton, yeah, cool. Tell me all about your history. Uh, yeah, cool. What happened? Why did they join the NCR? His backstory is he used to be a ranger, but back before the rangers were part of the NCR. Hmm. Uh, and he hates the NCR because he feels like the rangers sold out to them, basically. I don't understand people who got annoyed oh. that people sell out. God, I remember Still when I was happen. younger, it was like, oh, gosh, that band sold out. This uh, I would, if I had enough talent to sell out, do it in a heartbeat. Oh my mm. God. He's still saying it. My shirt says, dump him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just wearing overalls, so you can't see the um, poor him. But they're not then. What? They're only over some. <laughs> <laughs> You guys. <laughs> Ethan, how did you know I was talking about Fallout Boy? <laughs> oh my god, did he stop talking? Ah, Russell! Oh, actually, you don't have a name. Literally, any donation, and you can name him within reason. You can't name him something very rude. You can name him something a little rude. If you just want to call him fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Donation goal met. <laughs> That's the opposite of selling out. You just <laughs> sold in. You were like, fuck money. I'm going to name this man fuck. It's going to bring me more joy than the cash I ever could. Like the rhyme says, Cass. Find a man, name him fuck, <laughs> all your day you'll have good luck. Like the rhyme <laughs> says. Oh, man. What's great is that that mod... Uh, all right, Russell, you're really starting to cheese me off. Cheese? Yeah. <gasps> Speaking of cheese me off, me found cheese that was off in my fridge today. <laughs> I, I found cheese that was off. Really? Same. Laugh at me. <laughs> Show me a smile. <laughs> Please. I need this. <laughs> Please, Adam. <laughs> huh. My name is Adam Cannavale. <laughs> I'm being held against my will. Uh, what do I need? I need 44. Don't have any fucking 44. That's and right. I need 308. I'm never not talking about Fallout Boy. Unless I'm talking about My Chemical either. Romance. Good. I was on yeah. Primates. Listen to Primates. Apparently it was quite funny. Tell us, Cassandra. How'd you get on? What what sequence of events led to you being on? I had um Yeah. Uh Matt from Primates on mm. the Primates account retweeted a photo of um Pogo from Pri um the Umbrella Academy. And said, we truly are living in a post-9-11 golden age of primates on television. And I got very excited um, because due to a number of facts I know, he's technically right <laughs> about Pogo <laughs> um, and it being a, a post-9-11 occurrence that is on TV. 
So in my very half a week state, I quickly sent him a lot of messages over Twitter um, that started with, hello, Matt, my name is Cass. I'm from Sans Pants. I'm sorry, this is your first impression of me. And then I hit him with a lot of facts about Umbrella Academy and all that fun stuff that you can hear the entire message in full if you listen to the episode. It's with Nick Mason as well. And they're both super lovely. We all went out for kebabs afterwards. It was really nice. Uh, so if you recall in the last game, we had that like massive holdout where we held like a, a, um, a ranger, uh, a ranger fort. Why am I still over encumbered? Uh, we're just going to go hand that quest in now. You're over encumbered because you carry the weight of the world on your shoulders. You're right. You're so right. Hey, hey, you little shit nuggets. Who the hmm. fuck? Oh, it's an NCI heavy trooper. All right. Thank you for the dollar. Unforeseen circumstances. Yeah, sure. Whatever. I don't give a fuck. I mean, I'm a little sad because fuck is the perfect name for him. <laughs> where is he? All right. When I find him, I'll rename him. <laughs> I looked over there where the chat is physically for me. But chat, you are here in front of me. That was a beautiful rhyme that I definitely did on purpose. You know what? Uh, actually, I think there's a lot of friends over there. Oh, no, no, there's not. Why did everyone go out of their way to not say Adam's last name? Because everyone found out what it was. Is that what happened? What's this? Kanal is asking, why did everyone stop going out of their way to say to not say your last name? Um, the joke kind of just got old, I guess. <laughs> Uh, at a certain point, we were like, well, they're just diminishing returns, I guess. Um, it, it also, like, it was just a... <laughs> we are creatures of disinterest in extra work. And um, creating, like, a new name for me for every single episode. Go back and try and count every single episode of D&D &D ever and see if you could come up with that many unique names that begin with C. <laughs> I don't think I could name that many words that started with C, let alone a similar to Carnivale. I guess that was it. That's a very sad answer. <laughs> Where's that guy that I got to rename? <laughs> Come on. It's just fucking... Oh, no, actually, I was about to be like, we can shorten Hentai Boy's name, but actually, every part of that name is very important to um, me. That is essential. Yeah. There's literally no... Word there wasted. <laughs> um, I'm over encumbered. I hate this. How do I? What, what, what's weighing me down here? <gasps> All right, I got a lot of fucking blood sausage. You know what? Let's eat a shitload of blood sausage. That'll lighten. My How life. much blood sausage do you have to eat before there's as much blood in your stomach as outside of your stomach? I just ate it. Literally, I just got to that point. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Um, what <gasps> else is weighing me down? There's Ever, a lot of fun. Everyone's there. saying new names. I love them all. <laughs> See, the second one is already can't think of a name. Jackson's having a chuckle off in the corner at presumably the voices in his head. <laughs> <laughs> Oh let's my some, gosh. Let's have some fucking fresh food for once in our that goddamn life. so line. cute. Oh my gosh. What's so cute? Jackson. Oh, Jack landed himself. If you want to see Jack laugh at fucking his own shit, come here any day of the damn week. I do. I got a lot of fucking water on me. That's why I was so encumbered. Also, blood sausage. Five Is that you, kilos. Russell? Five kilos of blood sausage is how much you'd have to eat. Gross. That's so much blood sausage. Have you sausage. seen Outlaw King? There's no. a scene in... I hear him. I can fucking hear him. Can you hear him? Shh. Ooh. No, it's colder. There he is. What am I calling him? You fuck, right? <laughs> you fuck. Now it just looks like he's saying nice things about me. Oh 
Is that? That's an enemy. Whoop. How did I shoot his weapon? Uh, talent. <laughs> Thank you all for the lovely um, different names. Some of which I'm sure we've already used. Maybe. I don't know. You Adam Cass Cass Page is funny. I like that one. That is good. Thank you, Ethan. <laughs> is that an Ethan original? Mm -hmm. Or as we like to call it around here, an Ether Ridge. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> he, bent, he bent it down to present his <gasps> head to me. Oh, I know. That was your first mistake, buddy. Ah. Would second. You? Yeah, no, no, go. Second mistake was showing up for war today. Oh, my gosh. Just go home. <laughs> what were you going to say? War's not fun. No, it's there, not. There, I said it. Don't do it. War's not fun, and as the Fallout mythos insists, it never changes. Thank you, Kian Ward 1. Gosh. Oh, I missed you. Mm. God probably didn't want me to shoot you. No one does. I'm bro playing a character who believes that God exists in this post-apocalyptic wasteland. Oh, gosh. That's such a... Powerful thing. Yeah, I agree. Does In what capacity did, did God cause this? Uh, yeah, because we weren't nice enough to each other. Hey, this is the ranger station that has all ghouls because it's uh, right next to a radiated fucking crater. But that's kind of cool. That's clever. Like, the Legion ain't coming out here because it's super fucking irradiated, isn't it? Yeah, I don't need to go over there. Ooh, something. Is that? No. Is this something? Yeah, I think something's lagging the game. Well, not lagging. What's the drop in frames? Something's... Hmm. Dropping frames like you're dropping names. Like you Dropping frames like I can't <laughs> drop rhymes. <laughs> God's punishing me. <laughs> <sighs> hey, Ranger Josie, I got a quest to hand in to you. Did you say something about child support? Yeah, there's a letter. Fucking eat dicks. Why aren't you wearing combat armor? Yeah, I don't actually care. Wait, wait. Absolutely count me in. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Look All at right. that mustache. That's a... That's a that's the stuff you can trust. Oh, this is oh, this is better better angels. This is another um quest. <laughs> I've accidentally started off a quest. Oh no! <sighs> um, do you have any plans to go on holiday? Canala asks. Uh when? Why? <laughs> uh, no, I don't have any plans to go on holiday in the immediate future. I was planning on potentially going to uh like somewhere in Europe maybe for a holiday. Uh, late this year or maybe next year, but um, it's like unconfirmed plans as of yet. That's the answer, I suppose. Um, what was I saying just a moment ago? You're talking about the mission, then I rudely interrupted. There was something that, that was going to follow on from. Mm. All right, well, let's just do this. I, uh, I need more time to prepare, actually. All right, okay. I think we want to wait to do better angels. I'm not sure, because Better Angels is the last mod that he made. Um, oh, yeah, we're nearly at the end of the mod list. Yeah, we're getting quite close. <laughs> uh, Russell might be broken, and if Russell is broken, can I just skip him? Investigate. I think this is for Russell, Hunter Hunted. Um, Thank you, Buzz Penguin. Thank you. Max of facility, sure. Um, I don't think there's any donation goal. No, there isn't. <laughs> there isn't. Whatever. I hadn't finished my sentence oh, yet. I'm sorry. I don't think there's any... No, I'll change it now. There is a donation goal to legally change Adam's name. <laughs> How rude. <laughs> oh, we've nearly been streaming for half a year. Oh, that's cool. Oh, my God. Oh, that's a bad boy. Oh, no. That looks like bad CGI. I think a lot of video games look like bad CGI, except for Mario. <laughs> That's what he really looks like. Have you seen that realistic picture of Mario? I hope I never do. I know what it's bad, right? Yeah, it's not great. 
<gasps> Have you seen that Neil Cicerega video where he, he's written a song called Sexy DVD and it's about a sexy DVD? Um, no, no DVD names are mentioned in the song itself. It's just about a DVD and it, you know, it's it's a re- it's a love song, so it needs to be relatable. But the music video he made for it is a Super Mario Brothers movie. I get it stuck in my head a fair bit. Okay. Uh, no, I have not heard of this. Okay, I'll show you that later, and then we're watching the Flat Earth video. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know how it ends? No, I've I've only watched like the first ten minutes. It's then we had so to do this. Good. Wait, you were watching it today? Yeah, I was watching it. Uh, started watching it over dinner, but then um, uh, we just had like a big conversation instead. Yeah. Hey, I can I ask you a question that's going to be really weird, but I really need the answer to this question. Yeah. So uh, if I were to say to the words to you, a sunken conversation pit like the Beatles had, would that may- mean anything to you? Because I... So... so oh, can I, I just quickly... Yeah. No. No? Continue. Right. <laughs> Can the internet help me out here? Oh, is there enemies here? Oh, no, it's just you. Mr. Clanton's whereabouts. All right, yeah, this is this is boy's quest line. So if we don't... If he doesn't start fixing up, if he doesn't start straightening up and fuck, flying right, hey, you want to see something cool? You yeah. see that forced lock check, 25%? Watch this. Fuck! Wait, what? I broke the lock. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it would have been really cool if it had worked. I don't need missiles. I do need honey mesquite pods. I do need those 12 gauge rounds. I think I just really fucked myself. Um, I think I needed to open that box. What are you posting in the chat? I don't know. I don't what are people saying? People are saying that it's rude and they can't sleep now. It might be Mario because we were just talking about that. No, because there are two. One first and then here's the Mario though. Ah, uh, okay. Don't be sharing weird stuff, please. Yeah. Don't be sharing weird stuff. I don't want to look at it, so I'm not going to. Yeah, we're just not going to look at it. It's just that easy. <laughs> One SpongeBob. And when you scroll on there, it scrolls on there. <laughs> ah, yeah. So that's, that's what happened before. Huh, that's funny. When I scroll here, it also scrolls uh, in the donation and the, like event list. So if I scroll down, I can see <laughs> you can see old events. Hey, look, I can go back to the first recorded event. Well, the first recorded event from Steam Labs. Uh-huh. Steamed ham, Ham's Labs. <laughs> Yeah. <gasps> uh, have you heard there's a show in Melbourne that I've been told is quite good and I just bought a ticket to. It's called Mr. Burns, a post-electric play. Have you heard of it? No. It's like a thing. It's currently sold out, but they've got another season running and it's like a play about, it's like set in a post-apocalyptic world. It's not specified what the apocalypse thing is and it's, all these people huddled around a fire um, trying to remember an episode of The Simpsons that they all kind of remember and um, there's no electricity. So it's just that's the play and I'm so excited. That's very funny. (laughs) Yeah, so good. If you want to come, come with. When are you going to see it? May. Talk about it after the stream so people don't know our plans. Yes, you'll (laughs) never know. All right. Uh, I'm supposed to be searching this place for clues. Uh, you're going to be so... I. Eh. It's called Mr. Burns, a post-electric play, if you want to check it out. I've not seen it yet, but I'm very excited. Apparently, it's phenomenal. Thank you, Boss Penguin. What did Boss Penguin do? Subscribed to Tier 3. Oh, fuck yeah. Hang on. Hang on, let me scroll up so we can see it. Ah, uh, it's not working anymore. <laughs> That's bullshit. Uh, a conversation pit is one of those seating areas in a pit in a house. Uh, no, because it's like a 
So the way I know this is on like a radio show that I used to watch called Get This. Watch? Listen to it. Oh my God, Cass, you're the worst sometimes. So. I'm the worst all the time. I'm consistent. Thank you. Oh. Hang on. Problem? What? Zogolophagon? I want to say the name right. <laughs> Thank you, Zogolophagon. Um, so uh, on a, a radio show called Get This that myself and Joel Zamet both fucking adore. It's like a huge thing from both of our childhoods. Um, What's that, it called? Uh, Get This. Huh. You can actually find the entire archive of every single episode ever uploaded. Ever made, sorry, not uploaded. It's a radio show. Yeah. It's got um, two Australian comedians by the name of Tony Martin. And Ed Cavalli. Oh. Yeah, it's quite good. It's really, that's a very funny. But anyway, um, at one point, Tony Martin says something along the lines of, like a line to the effect of, I wish, or like, would you like a conversa- a sunken conversation pit like what the Beatles had? The implication, I think, being that in like a music video or some video thing that the Beatles did, there was in a lounge room a sunken pit that you would climb into to have conversations. But yeah. I don't know what that is or what that's about. I'm just going to quickly... That's what I heard I was saying. Oh, what, what? Sorry? A conversation pit is one of those seating areas in a pit in the house. I'll, it, it sounds... Show me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a look. Google that shit. It sounds like the, an, in, an any version of the, the Japanese thing. That doesn't help. All right. Let's yeah, there we go. Bye. 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 Yeah, okay. So it's like having a lounge area, but the lounge, the top of the couch is the floor level. Bye. Bye. Here are some photos if you would like. Bye. If you Google conversation pit. Bye. That's just not as impressive as what I thought it was. No, nah, but because it, 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 the way it describes it, the way in my mind, it's like... You climb in there to escape. It's, it, it just sounded like an actual pit, to be honest. But, look, that does seem correct. Can I'm you, sorry. Can you Google that and then the Beatles? All right, you're really starting to piss me the fuck off. <laughs> Took him a sec. I don't know if he can be killed. Oh, yep, he can. Oh, no. Do we care enough to try this quest? Nah. Thank you, anime is number one. Mm, yeah, I think we're doing this. Sorry, Russell. <laughs> but now I feel bad. But now I think I've overwritten the save where he was alive. <laughs> nope, we're doing it. All right. Sorry, Russell. A That's plush actually... pool. A plush. I'm looking that up immediately. So, uh, uh, if you like playing Fallout New Vegas and you haven't played Russell, uh, don't let that... Um, uh, look, it's a good quest. Is. I just... I don't know. It's broken for me or something like that. It's just... Play it. It's got a cool, a cool story to it. <laughs> There's so many people. Do you want me to lessen them out? Thin the herd, as it were. Oh, no. I hate purple heads. Do you, did you ever... Do you have thick hair? Do I have... Does Adam or does Gip have thick hair? Adam. Because you know how at the hairdressers they've got the thinning scissors? Thank you, Tatey231. 213. They're like scissors... That sounds like something out of a distro... It sounds like... Sounds like Katniss Everdeen needed to fight the thinning scissors. <laughs> no, they're like scissors, but the ends are thicker and they only cut a bit of hair. So a lot of, as you shut the scissors, a lot of hair gets caught but doesn't get cut and only some of the hair gets cut. So people with really thick hair get thinning scissors run through their hair and cut out. So a lot of their hair gets cut short, but it just makes it more manageable if your strands are really thick. If you want thinner hair. Um, thank you, Donuts Forever. Yes. But, yeah, they always looked really cool. I don't know why I'm talking about this. 
I just got really thin hair, so they were never used on me. I would be so hairless. Good night, Solo. Night, Solo. Why Why were you asking if I'd ever used them? I can't remember. I don't know anymore. Do you think I have very thick hair? I was asking if you had thick hair. No, I don't think so. Sure. Barbers don't use them. Yeah, it's like combs are the scissors. That's right. Barbers don't use them. Barbers don't use them. But barbers don't use them. Barbers don't use them. How could they use them? Barbers hate them. But doctors love <laughs> him. This man has discovered a way to cure cellulite. Barbers hate him. <laughs> it amused me. Hey, look, is there a... No, I need wild wasteland. If I have wild wasteland, there's like a UFO around here. And I think these people are aliens if I have wild wasteland. Uh. Yeah, that shield. All right, whatever the fuck <laughs> that is. Fiery purgative sounds like what happens when I have a shield. <laughs> I thought you were going to make that Sorry, less. Sorry, slasher. Slasher sounds like <laughs> <laughs> when I have a shield. I thought you were going to make that a more subtle joke. Not subtle as in subtle, but. Yeah, because I'm not. You were going to be like a night out on the uh, spicy foods or something, but you just frank, you just straight up said shit. It's phenomenal. It's powerful. Look at these people. None of them even know they're in a computer simulation. <laughs> Idiots. That farm isn't real. That's just simulated farm. You idiots. Damn fucking fools. They don't feel this. I don't even understand what's happening to them. That woman assumes that she's gone to heaven. Also a simulation. <laughs> God nuked heaven when he nuked Earth. It's punishment. Anyway, um, all right. What quests do we have? That's the better angels. I think, I think we want to do uh, the City of Woe, which is New Vegas Bounties 3, I believe. Ooh. Let's go get us some bounties. I've not actually played this. Ooh. New Vegas Bounties 3, I've not played it casually. So um, I'm just going to be ruining this game for myself. That's exciting. You'll get to see it live. You'll get to see live as the culmination of a story that I have been playing since 2000 and I think 11 is ruined. Because um, I shot Russell, and I need Russell, I think, for some... Oh, I thought you were someone I knew. <laughs> You're not. Oh, my God. I was so scared, I clenched my toes. <laughs> you actually fucking terrified me. Don't look at me. Look away. Look away. Don't look at me. Oh, he's looking at you. He's like one of those scary Harry Potter lamps that follows you. I think the standard one is uh, a Tutankhamun or Mona Lisa, but we had a Harry Potter one in our house. <laughs> Harry Potter as a child just watched you walk around. A wound. Stop! Watch you walk around. Stop! So, um, is that uh, some boy? Some dickheads come over to fucking have a go. Hey, dick shit. Eat a fucking bag of dicks. Ethan, did we live the same life? <laughs> Ethan also had the same Harry Potter lamp with eyes that followed you around the room. And Virgil's Adam is drinking cola and scotch. I am drinking normal cola and a bit of the old raw pressed grape juice. Early wine. Baby wine. Yes, the weird sandstone thing. I think our family finally got rid of it. It wasn't mine. It was my brother's. Hmm. There's 20 bottles of wine here, which leads me to believe that I left this here, which is so strange because it, I found it on, on the thing here. I wouldn't put it here. I'd fucking drop it on the floor where 20 bottles of wine belong. 
That's fucking weird. Hey, don't tell anyone. What I'm stealing is drained flamer fuel. Drained flamer? A drainer fuel. Drainer. <laughs> um, This guy fucking legged it. Yeah, there he is. All right, so... Yeah, we well, yelled at saying? him. What was I saying before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I've kind of ruined this... Uh, uh, this and Better Angels, I don't know the story to because I've not played them, but I have been playing Some Guy 2000 and it's been like a long, it's one long interconnected story, but I've been playing it since, I don't know, 2010, 2011. Um, and I've not finished these two, but because I'm playing them live and because for the sake of uh, you people at home, I can't take it too seriously because if I took this game as seriously as I take it on a casual playthrough, we would not be having fun. Sometimes it's fun to play things that don't bring you joy. Yeah. If I play, if I was playing this like seriously, well, casually, casually, seriously or whatever, I, I get, I fucking role play this shit. No fast traveling for me. I walk. If I need to get somewhere, I fucking walk there. Commitment. Yeah. I didn't believe this was Randall's old joint until I checked inside. Anyway. Yeah. So this is like, this is like fucking nearly a decade. I understand you wanted to speak with me. Uh, 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 uh. No, you've not seen it before. Uh, uh. Bury me. I know I'm burying him. Okay. Going alpha right out the gate, huh? Mm-hmm. Negotiating tactics. That's fucking right. I'm an alpha. Puff your chest then. It looks cool. cool. Not a real thing. I'm sure it's a fact that everyone knows already, but like alpha wolves and shit like that. Just not how wolves work. Even the person, like the like the study that that's all based off, mm. the like lead researcher or whatever, is like, mm, it's probably not for. When you were telling me about this, isn't it that they got domesticated wolves so they weren't? I don't think I was telling you about that. Really? I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know why. The I just know that it was kind of like bung science. I was telling you about otters. If anyone talks shit about otters, saying that they're like awful creatures that they engage in necrophilia or anything like that, which is a rumor that went around about otters. Yeah. There's all this awful shit about otters. None of that shit's true. They're just nice? Yeah. Uh, so that study that otters are awful was done on one group of otters that lived in captivity. And once again, the people who did the study were like, mm, probably not. That's what I'm getting confused with. The otter study. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, otters like- just pure good creatures probably visit your mum more often than you do. Uh, my mum? <laughs> yeah, 100%. Little... Your mum opens on, the no, door. Hang on, hang on, one sec. Click a little pause. Yeah, yeah, they do. Then your mum opens the door and it's like, Otter standing there with a bowl of spaghetti or something like that because they don't know what's going on. They're doing their best. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I had the cheekiest dinner. Oh, thank you, Boss Penguin. Uh, I'm here <laughs> and on Sandswans Plus to support Adam's drinking habits. <laughs> you were saying, Cass? Cheeky dinner. Do you have any of those like dinners that are a cheeky dinner from your childhood where it's like, it's a no fuss, bit bad for you meal and it's like you'd have it as a family if it was like... It was almost a special occasion if you'd have it. For us, it was pasta with butter and cheese. And then as we got a bit older with more sophisticated palates, it was pasta with butter and cheese and salt and pepper. <laughs> and um, to Tell you what, you know what you do with that? Scramble some egg, mix scrambled egg through it. You won't be disappointed. It's a trick I forget who told me, but someone did. Oh, I'm gonna... Hang on. Do you just... You just scramble some egg, then when you're done... Just by hand or in the pan? You, like, you make scrambled eggs. Oh, okay. Then you mix scrambled eggs in through that shit. Oh, that Tell you what, nice. you won't be sorry. I won't, I never will be. I, this is this is just some sly ploy to get me into cooking full meals for myself. Started off with basic everything yellow. Then it's like, okay, salt and pepper. Okay, add an egg. Now they're going to be adding another stuff. Another cheeky, like... Sneaky easy meal we had was like the packet macaroni and cheese, but mum would put 
broccoli, bacon and celery in there, cut up real tiny. Cuts through the cheese so you can eat more. Spaghetti and milk. Ugh. That's Together? Zoe always says that pasta is dinner breakfast. And she's just not wrong. And that even proves it further. I'm going to tell her. Spaghetti and milk. We would use, we would put, if we had like rice left over for dinner, I'd eat all my dinner and like leave as much rice as possible. And then for dessert, I would just like pour milk in it and then put it in the microwave so it was warm. And then like sugar over the top. <laughs> Packet pasta. Oh, you know those? Okay, then there are the sachets that are like side dishes. All my comfort food is pasta, I'm realizing. It's not surprising to anyone but me who is realizing this now on the camera. Ooh, thank you for hosting. I don't think your name is meant to be pronounced. <laughs> There's one. One uh, vowel, and it's at the beginning. How many names have one vowel at the beginning, but are kind of long? Um, Anne with no E. That's three letters. They're not kind of long. No. That has so Do many you vowels. you we're talking about, Jack? You couldn't uh, possibly, because you gave the worst possible answer. Jack said Aloysius. <laughs> Okay, hey, wh what were you laughing at before? Huh? What were you laughing at before? <laughs> Eggs in a milkshake? Eggs in a milk... What? Eggs in a... Eggs in a milkshake? Egg. Don't even stress, Cass. Cass. Look here. Ah. Yeah. yeah. Pay attention to the screen. That's all that's important. Don't worry about eggs on a milkshake. Whatever the fuck that shit is. Egg. Tell you what you don't need to worry about? Fucking eggs on a milkshake. It's... I keep forgetting to turn off the Darker Nights mod. It sounds bad, uh, but that's what eggnog is. Skyrim's tomorrow. You guys are doing Skyrim tomorrow, yeah? They are. Skyrim tomorrow. Yeah, it'd be um, a thumb cramp stream with Jackson and Dusha. Joel Dusha. No yeah, Joel Dusha, but no Zamet because Zamet is on holiday. Unlike us, we have no plans. Hello, Swag Cheesehead. On holiday and in another goddamn co country. Hey, we're the number one new Volat stream. We're the number one new Volat stream, yeah. Oh, Virgil, why are you mad at me? Oh, I threw a grenade. You keep trying to kill everyone. Oh, it was an accident. I'm just going to leave him alone. No, leave him alone, Cass. I'm sorry, Cass, but I got to cripple your leg. You're always doing this. You're always crippling my leg or removing uh, my head with guns. Sorry, I... bullets. I just ran. Hey, guys, come with me this way. Don't kill Virgil. Oh, the city's nice. Let's go to the city. Yeah, it is pretty. You want to go to the city? Bicycle of... Oh, no, I got the same right. Bicycle of... Bicycle of... Bicycle of... Look so proud. I just, it's, I just, it's, it's names. You gotta give it a go. The new office faces are coming along nicely. It's just in the stage of, yeah, trying to build an office space. So, lots of stuff's happening now on paper. Nothing much physicals happening yet it's just one of those things where all of a sudden it'll be built <laughs> but just so much planning good always plan um so i've pissed virgil off 
by throwing a grenade at him. I'm just going to wait a little bit. Let him cool his heels. And then we'll go back and everything will be cool. Hey, buddy. What if you died? No. You always make everyone dead. Yeah. This level mm. or area, as mm. twere, mm. reminds me. Sorry, go on. It reminds me of uh, Pokemon when you go to the big city because there's always one big city. Mm-hmm. Yeah, please go on. Um, I like Pokemon, but the big city is always so big and I get lost in the real world. So playing video games, I just walk around in circles and you can never run as fast as you want to when you're lost. I just, I just want to zoom out. You can't. It's, it's like RPG stuff and there's not a real... And it doesn't even matter if there's a map because it just shows the streets and what do they do for... I don't know, wh- I don't know where I am. I don't remember where shops are. Mm. It's just really hard. Yeah, let's go gambling. They got rid of the gambling from the new Pokemon game. Unless they just haven't unlocked it yet. Uh, yeah. Didn't they encounter, like, a bunch of problems with having gambling in Pokemon games and children's games? Because gambling is addictive and bad. Yeah, well, they put warnings on it. They did. It was, like, mild gambling references. That's just not good enough. And keep, like, five-year-olds play that shit. I don't care. Who's mad? Why are people fucking freaking out? Hey, come on, let's play some blackjack. All right. Deal me in. Hit. 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 Oh, shit. That rhymed. Hang on, wait. We got to just increase our bet. It's the maximum bet we can have. 200? (gasps) Cool. Deal me in. Is that, are you guys talking about Boku no Hero Academia? Ooh. Adam, Boss Penguin is currently on the penultimate episode of Once Upon a Time in Barovia and he fucking loves that storyline. He d- um, yes. They don't know exactly why, but for them, you outdid yourself with the storyline. It was so enjoyable to listen to. Thank you. That was very, that's very kind of you to say. I can read it there, yeah, but... Uh, that was mean to you, I guess. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, I, um, yeah, that was very kind of you to say. Thank you. Uh, I had a lot of fun doing that game. The game's going to last for quite some time. <laughs> the boys, they do a lot of ambling in Barovia. They do a lot of ambling. <laughs> Deal me in, dealer. Stay on this. Fuck. All right. Let's quit while we're ahead. Okay, let's play some slots. Jizzlinski, I'm glad. That's so good. That's so nice to hear. What's happening? Um, they're saying that uh, thanks to advice, um, I gave in a stream in a while ago. They made friends at their uni orientation day. That's where, like, I one of my best friends now. I met uni orientation, and I yeah, she's m- the best. Yeah. It's good. It's so good because you're all there. It's like the first time you sort of get put into a place where you have. So many people that you're exposed to, but all of you bet. have stuff in common to start off with. I'd be a fool to not increase my bet. It's a great place to make friends. Um, all right. Well, you win some, you lose some. Fuck them. Oh, I completed a quest. Uh, oh well, what? Uh, no, I shouldn't. Mm. Mm. All right, whatever. We were harmonizing. I just hacked the game. <laughs> you can't do that. I just did. Places. Tell you what, this place is yeah. like a party after I'm done. <laughs> give me this, give me this, give me this, give me hey, this. Hey, Sean Bear, that's sick. I hope editing is good. What's he editing? I don't know. They're sitting in an edit suite, bored, watching a render bar <laughs> and watching the stream. If they're watching a render bar, they're probably editing audio, I would imagine. You have to render video too. Uh, no. 
give Bumpus enough to tell Caesar I'll accept his invitation. Gotta get out of here before the guy talks to me. Gotta fucking leg it. I know this is probably it's coming for me. Not amazingly helpful, but um, a lesson my mom taught me quite young. Whenever you had to wait for something, like if we were in a long line, she'd be like, "This is a good opportunity to practice patience." And it's just a really nice way of thinking about it. Let's add this boy. Let's add, let's add our new best friend. Oh, missed. <gasps> yes, new starter Pokemon designs. Um, uh -oh. Uh oh, look, buddy, buddy, buddy. Oh my God, he just exploded. Oh shit. Fuck, why? Now's really not the time. Weird. Oh shit. Um, the new Pokemon designs. I am a massive fan of a oh, fire starter shit, and shit. they keep making them firefighting and play it makes cool, me play mad. Cool, play cool, play cool. This rabbit <laughs> looks I'm not excited for the rabbit. What's wrong with the rabbit? It just looks like it's gonna be a big firefighting and it's gonna turn into something that looks like a human at the end, which is they just keep doing that. Every single uh -oh. fire Pokemon. Give me something cool. Eat frag! Give me a big floating fire Fuck flower no. or something. Give me a big. Oh my god! Jackson's turned on me! Oh my what god! The hell? <laughs> Jackson's finally done it! He's mustered up the fucking chutzpah to fucking take me on! I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> Jackson overheard and has said yay. Um, hentai boy turned on Adam. Sorry? Hentai boy turned. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna do it. I'm finally killing him. I just... Uh-oh. He's fucking knocked you down, Cass. Yeah, that's right. What? What? Why? Why? Eddie, my love. Oh, God. Oh, Should that's a cool pose. Look at that guy. Look look back. That looks like he's in the middle of dancing. I want to go stretch like... Oh. Sayonara, son of a bitch. I'm going to look at the Pokemon right now. That's unconscious. I'm always unconscious. All right. That was fucking... Uh, if this were fucking a video or something like that, and here, here we'd insert... <laughs> Here we didn't sort a montage of every single time I shot Jackson. I will remember you. I will remember you. Ah, yes, in Don't the bin. Don't let your love pass you by. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need to go have a nap. The little monkey one is good, um, but they two grenades no, just seem too fuck human. Me Everything's either a human or a dog now. When they're like, "It's an ice cream," I'm like, "At least it's not a human or a dog." Yeah, can we get a bunch of F's in chat for Jack, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen? He's finally dead. Fucking no, th oh, two companions, Russell and Ead, or Jackson and. Fuck you, I'm dead tonight. I so hope for a fire electric, that'd be sick. My favorite, oh, you're not those dead. are my two favorite Pokemon to play with. God, now you are. Types, rather. No, a bin bag, that's good. I, and just canonically, the fact that it took forever to be discovered in a new region is like, oh no, we thought this was rubbish. <laughs> Shrubbish, oh good. It's a game for kids, have fun. But, yeah, just, I don't know. It's a game for kids. Be more creative. <laughs> In terms of don't just make... Everything just turns into a big person, like... What's a bed? Was it Fennekin? Fennekin. Adorable little, like, Fennec Fox thing. Turns into a big person. I'm a person. That's boring. What Pokemon would I eat? Cass has very strict opinions on, uh, on Pokemon. I don't know if I'd. You don't know if you. Clefairy egg. 
What about Clithery egg? They have eggs. I want them. What about what? What? What brought I've, this on? I've oh been asked what Pokemon what I would eat. What have I done to you, you son of a bitch? What haven't you done to him? I haven't done jack shit. He hit me with a pipe. Like a fucking coward. You're going to hit someone, hit them with a bullet from your gun. Welcome back. Speaking of a bullet from a gun. The little monkey one's adorable, but I just I just prefer fire. I probably won't buy this game. <laughs> I'll wait till the next round where the graphics are... Well, not graphics as such, but everything gets even prettier. Then hopefully they give some sort of fire that is fun and doesn't isn't just going to turn into... A, I am so going to watch Detective Pikachu. Yes. Yes, I definitely am. Um, watching the trailer for Detective Pikachu, initially you're like, hmm, what's all this then? And then all the songs of Pokemon come out and it's about friendship and it's just cute. And I want to see all the, all the swarms of Pokemon animated. I want to see how they do that. And that'll be good. And the colouring looks really beautiful in it. Like the... I guess it's colour grading, but it would be art direction, maybe. Ah, I wish I knew more about the things I talked about, eh? Let me sleep in your fucking bed. Sorry, go on. No, that was pretty much it. <gasps> There's beds in here. That's right. I just got a fucking... Beds for the taken. Yes, me describing Pokemon to someone who's never played Pokemon would be great because inevitably the person I was describing it to would be like, so using animals to fight, and it'd be like, no, they want to. And it would just be a lot Strengthens of... Strengthens your bond. Yeah, a lot of me getting sad because it's a game and it's not real life, but if you think about it too hard, it's very terrible. All right, let's try this again. We've got one less companion. Just Cass and Guts. What I can't believe, why is. is he dead forever? I made him dead forever. <laughs> I was done. Uh, he, turned, he turned a villain to us. Yeah, Virgil's fine with us now. He became our enemy. And when he became our enemy, he was no longer useful to us. Territory. Yes, it's tutterness. Pokemon fighting is performance art. You're right. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's a lot worse. It's it's very bad. The game's fun and they fight each other with magic. Yeah. New starters, Monkey is my favourite based on looks. But I don't. I don't want to grasp Pokemon. Hey, was Zamet ever a part of this group? Sorry. Was Zamet ever a part of this? With uh. You know, you know when you nearly drop something, you get a little flash of panic all over your body. Yeah. 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 What if I dropped the chocolate that I don't like? Um, oh, no, this one. Wasn't there a Zamet in here? Yeah, yeah, there was Zamet. I forget who Zamet was. I think Zamet was Cass, briefly. Ah. Um, yeah, he was there definitely here at the beginning because, like, a lot of the stupid character choices that were made at the beginning of this game are the fault of Zamet. <laughs> like, we get addicted a lot to drugs because of Zamet. Oh, donuts forever. Please take care of yourself <laughs> if you've got sunstroke. Yeah, buddy. Hydrate. Yeah. Take care of yourself. Drink lots kind of water. Kind words don't heal sunstroke. Get, get some water or lie down. <laughs> get somewhere cool if you can. A Magikarp's all bone? How is a Magikarp all bone? I don't give a shit. Whatever. I killed someone and then someone worse came in. Do you want to hear something crazy? I didn't kill her for the money. I didn't kill her for the fucking... To do any good. I killed her because 
These people needed entertainment, you sick fuck. He doesn't know. He has no idea. <gasps> Antitonic, I think I know the exact photo you've just posted because I saw it and then got annoyed at it because... Oh, nope. Yeah, that's not what I thought it would be. <laughs> but that is what I fear. I'm going to Troy's hideout. Sick. Good. Good. Definitely take care of yourself, Donuts Forever. Okay, it's just over there. It ain't far. Shouldn't even need to deal with any enemies on the way there. I don't know if it was the JoJo one. It was the one where it was like grass, water, electric. No, grass, water, fire. And then the next one was like grass fighting, water fighting, fire fighting. And then the last one was fighting, 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 fighting. <laughs> and then they were all buff humanoid. It was upsetting because it just looks like that's where they're going. I was so crushed when Fennekin turned into a fighting humanoid. Who are you? Oh, it's not why I picked NCR a fox. Didn't like me. That's no good. Oh. Leave me alone. Fire All right, combo you're actually good. fucking me up. Ah, yes. The classic hitbox of head and backpack. Mm, that's no good. That's very bad, I think. Oh, yeah. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh. Stop it. Mm, that's no good either. All right. We just got a boogie. We just got to fucking get out of here. Troy's hideaway, you say? Yeah. yeah Torture. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, yes. Whoops. Sorry, Fennekin was uh -oh. psychic fire. I'm, I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of the evolution of Torchic. Too close. Get back. Too close. Get back. If Benny can have that weird stick. No good. No good. Just keep being a fox. That's why I, that's why I picked you. <laughs> you were a fox. I'll cut, I'll cut off some fucking fingers if I feel like it, you cunt. <gasps> that's so rude. I'm sorry. Nah, you're allowed to swear. Apparently, mannequins are super expensive. Ugh. Sorry? Mannequins. Apparently, they're real dear. Really? Yeah. Oh. Oh, maybe the fancy ones are. Oh, no. Once we finish... Oh, no. That's sad. Yeah, that's rough. Do we have... Do we know? Do we know what? I'm sorry, I can't read and talk at the same time. I got into the wrong field of work. Do we know what the new game is going to be after this? We got to finish Fallout first. We got to. Who says this is ever going to finish, huh? Mm. I never said this was ever going to finish. I just no. said that. Potentially something could happen other, uh, besides this. People got all up in a tizzy about this game finishing. It's all not I'm finishing. Hearing, all I'm hearing is you guys don't like this game. And that's very mean. Nah, fair enough. I get it. It's not everyone's cup of tea. Are you guys still fucking talking? Oh my god. I vote for a Flash game stream. Oh god. <gasps> oh my word. Oh, are you sick? He's got a pit boy. Now, I won't kill you for it. This bounty hunter will. Oh shit, mama! Over here! Is Pip short for Pepito? You better believe it. Good. No one will kill at them. how those words are spelled. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> Nothing.
Hey, I killed the guy for you. Ah, uh, yes. You, yeah, yes, kill the man, put him in the ground. I put lip balm on and it smells nice, so I had to. Oh, bye. <laughs> I see you talking to. <laughs> bye, Cass. Everyone, no. <laughs> my God, you made me panic and go back to my native accent. <laughs> no. 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 Stop. It. Stop. What did you miss, Ethan? <gasps> Ethan's got Coke and chocolate too. What kind? Tell us all. What kind of chocolate? Oh, people are saying that we could minimize the game and just have us full stream and they'd still watch. You guys are nice. What? We could what? Um, we could minimize the game and just have it's us full screen. And they'd still watch. I think it's lovely. Thank you. And trust it. Nah. Anything you want to talk about, just ask me. I keep talking. I won't stop unless I get thirsty. Can I see myself? Dwarf Fortress. <laughs> Dwarf <gasps> Fortress is Chocker. a great... Yes. Good. Chocker. Chocker. Excuse me, miss. You've only got the skeleton of your clothes. Cool outfit, though. I love I think things. He's showing me shit that, like, I've done throughout the games. <gasps> being That's like, you're, you're, you think you're such a good person, but actually, you're not. Oh no. Can you free her? I don't know. Did that fast forward things? Or did I just fuck up? I'm sorry. You're free to go, lady. What do you need? Alright, cool. Gosh, you really have no respect for the power of just Alright, Quigley's residence. Cool. Yeah, he's taking me on like a tour of everything I've done in the last games, being like Hey, you think you did all this good, but actually when you left, things just got really shit. I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. Jill, you can leave. Why is her head the different color to her body? It's, it's just, that's just, that just happened. Look, hey. Hang on, look at her leg thing. That's sick because it serves no purpose and I love it. That <laughs> is wonderful. Those are my favorite items of clothing. That just do nothing. I have so many jumpers that have like, they stop the sleeve here and then have metal rings connecting the second half of the sleeve, completely rendering the jumper useless. I have a jumper that has, has zips that go nearly the entire way around. So if, if I'm wearing it and I get embarrassed, I open up the ventilation so I can, I get sweaty when I get embarrassed <laughs> or just really warm. When are you ever embarrassed? Oh, never. <laughs> now. <laughs> are you excited to watch the... Uh, uh, Flat Earth documentary. Again? Yes. Four more times. I've watched it thrice. I think it's in the space of three days too, which is sick. It's so good. Um, I totally have a crush on one of the boys. <laughs> You know, it'd be fun if I started trying to stream, uh, to speed run things. Like, actually. Imagine that. Imagine if I did actual attempts at speed runs. Uh, final helper. Whatever. I don't know what's happening here. What's I your favorite no... flavor of Skittle? My favorite flavor of Skittle? Yeah. Regular. I like Skittles, but I don't like any particular type. I don't. I'm not a man who eats Skittles individually. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a man of grand appetite. <laughs> <laughs> Adam tastes the rainbow. Yeah, you better bull you better goddamn you you you, you yep. Um I don't like any of the fancy well, not fancy flavors, but I don't like a lot of the extraneous 
Oh, like the family flavors. Yeah, I don't the like, dessert flavors yeah, and the sour flavors yeah. and the sour flavors are okay, but I prefer the original flavors. You know. Yeah, the cherry ones make me very sad. Um, and everything else you can just sort of shove in your gob. Is there a black currant flavor? If there's a black currant flavor of Skittle, that's my favorite. But I can't remember all the Skittle flavors. I know that lemon is good because lemon is good always. I don't know what to say. All right. I think yes. I did good here. Do you know the podcast EOS 10? Yeah, hey, whatever. I did it. I do not know this podcast. Hey, Roy Quigley. Do you know, Roy Quigley, that you have the face of a sad old man? Hey, Roy Quigley, uh, you also have a rifle. That's kind of fucked up, don't you think? Oh, my God. Jack Quigley, you also have the face of a sad old man. Oh, not old man. You're like you're like 10, but you're the face of a 20-year-old, and that's kind of weird. Do you think that? Jack, Roy. Leave them alone. They're doing their Dana. best. Dana. Is that how you say your name? Dana. Dana? Oh, that makes sense. Like Danish, but... Uh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, this map of the world ain't accurate no more since God made us bomb ourselves. Also, it's flat. <laughs> I also, can't even joke um, about that. It doesn't have a... It, this world probably still has a, a heaven to it, but we also nuked that. God didn't want us coming into his doorstep, so he fucking destroyed it. world looks more like this now, kids. Get rid of that fake one. It looks more like this. You see how this world is flat? <laughs> That's what it looks like now. We nuked it flat, kids. <laughs> we nuked it flat. Take some fucking pictures. They'll last longer. <laughs> Take a fucking picture, kids. They needed to know how the world works. Hey, okay. Kinetico 2, you're talking about pouring Skittles into a shot glass full of Oh, full of Coke. God, that's a bit much. I didn't realize. Okay. If you, does anyone in chat know the feeling of when you eat a lot of Skittles at once, more than you should, and then all the sugar starts melting down your throat and you start coughing a lot because you've made a bad choice? It's not a bad choice. It's just, it has consequences that you just would prefer not to have. Does anyone know that? Like, you eat a lot of Skittles, it's too sugary, it melts down your throat, you cough and you choke a bit. No, I'll kind of pay that. Yeah, I know that. Yay! Thank you! Every single okay, time I, I try and you. talk to people I know about this, I because I have a story about eating too much Skittles, too many Skittles, and, um, and I'm like, you know when you eat Skittles and you eat too much, it melts down your throat, everyone's like, no. Yeah. Everyone I know is so healthy. I mean, who the fuck am I, right? Yeah. Yeah, but uh, cool. yeah, I, I did that way. once cool. at a party, ate a lot That's of Skittles cool. and then got the sugar melty thing, taste bad, Bernie. Yeah. And Actually, really, just really from hurts. reaction, just only because the sugar started melting down my throat in the wrong way, I threw up immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Your cat's name is Skittles. That's so nice. It's a good name for a cat. Because they can get skittish and they do the... They can also get skittles. <laughs> do you ever have those dreams where you can jump real long? Mm -mm. It's like flying, but okay, never mind. I had a dream... I genuinely did have a dream, but then my brain, like, as I was trying to remember the dream, my brain was like, what if you just told a joke? And I was like, that sounds pretty good, brain. We got any good ideas? My brain was like, nope. Anyway, here I am. <laughs> Where? I think boy's meant to be here. So, because I've got increased spawns, there's a lot of extra enemies. And because there's a lot of extra enemies... The AI that is meant to be standing, presumably here, has wandered off because they're afraid of something. Something's been threatening them. Ah, uh, it's not nice to feel scared. Yeah. So, game. Just a quick question, game. <laughs> but, um, am I meant to be meeting someone here? 
You want to meet Virgil near Cottonwood Cove? Yeah. Should be here. Come on, Virgil. There you are. This nice little <gasps> oh, lucid dreaming. I've never been able to properly lucid dream. The closest I came was I realized, because usually you realize dreaming, wake up. I had a dream where I realized I was dreaming and I was like, oh my God, I think I'm dreaming. I should be able to fly then. And I started flying. And then I was like, oh my God, I can go and do like heaps of fun stuff. I can go do magical things. I can, I can fly everywhere. And then I got into a conversation with someone and I ended up talking to them for ages Damn. because I didn't want to be rude. And I didn't get to do anything fun in my dream and fly around and stuff because I didn't want to be rude to this person who I should have fully had a lucid dream and been like, oh, they're not real. I'll go fly away and do like have flying type flying so much fun in dreams <laughs> but um yeah I didn't fully click and I just had to have this uh just keep talking to this person to be polite so the last part of my dream is me being like yep yeah. mm-hmm yeah uh-huh y yep and I'd, nothing else happened <laughs> <laughs> God, lizard dreaming would be cool. I'd just fly everywhere. You know, you could teach yourself to do it, right? That seems like... Could I? Yeah, you can. I said this on Shut Up a Second. Oh, God, I'm boring. <laughs> Sorry. It's not even that hard. Just something you can do. All right, cool. This guy's taking me through a long fucking... Rick and Merol. I remember, actually, I I'm remember. I'm sure if I was invested, I'd care. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, no, please go on. What were you saying? I remember reading about how to lucid dream. Because I always, I'm interested. And then it's like, focus really hard. I'm like, oh, no. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but the the person was saying, like, you know, lucid dreaming, like, this is what you do. And then it was like, a word of caution, you know, side effects, you know, you don't want to become a person who sleeps all the time because lucid dreaming is too alluring. You'll forget to live your real life. It just didn't seem like a real problem. Also, that thing about um, the crop top. What thing about the crop top? There's, there's this post, I think it's on Tumblr or something, about someone having a dream where someone had corn all over their shirt and they said, what's that? And they said, it's a crop top. And then the person dreaming laughed so hard they woke up. There's a company in Australia called Black Milk who made a crop top with a cornfield on it, I think, because of that. Mm. <laughs> Which is very funny. Unless it just happened at the same time they had the same idea. Thank you. Thank you for saying you like hearing me tell stories. It's all I have. I think you're a bit more than the stories you tell, Cass. Thanks. I'm also the times I did the stories in real life. <laughs> I'm two dimensional. <laughs> two dimensions, baby. I spat all over my leg. And Adam, I am so sorry. I got really excited about dreams, so I started salivating. <laughs> I, I could tell. Yep. But yeah, um, apparently a good way to, to teach yourself to lucid dream is to, uh, whenever you're near a clock, to always look at the clock. To just train yourself to be looking at clocks because in a dream, uh, clocks are always blurry. They never give you exact, like paper is the same as well. So if you ever, if you're in a dream and you pick up a piece of paper and try to read it, it's just like blurry lines, but your brain is like, oh yes, this is what the paper says, but it never shows you what's on it. And the clocks are the same, but clocks are just easier to immediately pick up on. Uh, so the trick is to try and, like always look at clocks and then try and uh, over time you like train yourself to be like, hang on, I'm looking at a clock, but I'm actually not seeing the time. So then you can be like, I'm in a dream. But then I wake up if I'm like, oh, I'm dreaming. Whoop. Although actually no. Every, Have you ever had a nightmare where you're like, this is a nightmare. I'll wake up. Oh, I'm not waking up. I guess this, isn't, this is real. And then you just have to suffer for ages. I've never lived... Such an incredibly stressful thing. That's happened to me, I think, multiple times. In a dream, you're like, this can't be real. This isn't a real life thing that could be happening. I'm dreaming. 
Oh, no. Ugh, the worst. Okay. We had a long, meaningful conversation in the space of several seconds. Uh, the part for Frostdale. Oh, I should. Oh. What happened there? Uh, we're departing for Frostdale. Oh. We're doing New Vegas Bounties 3. Dream therapy? Tell me about that. What is that? Therapy on dreams? The most normal thing you've done in a lucid dream. That's amazing, yes. Say a normal thing. Over the years, travelers have told stories of a man in black. The most dangerous killer alive. From somewhere far from here. For you, he was merely a name. A marker. Oh. He would have remained just that. If not for a All of the scotch was in the bottom of the glass. <laughs> oh, dear. Woof. Oh, what a mouth. He doesn't have any teeth. Look at that. <laughs> Look at does. that. No. Hey. No, he's got teeth. It, it could have been lip. His teeth are probably just like a. What do you call it? A um, dentures that are just too small. <laughs> it's the end of the world. Babe. Maybe he just got whatever dentures he could. That makes sense when yeah. you think no, about no, it. No, it, no, it checks. It's just sad. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just reading chat. Sorry, Antitonic's talking about dream therapy specifically for interpreting symbology. I have a book that is this thick. It is called 20,000 Dreams. It is by an author who has named themselves Mary Summer Rain. And it's just a big list of things in dream and what they mean, which, you know, is literally just different for everyone. But it's still fun. <laughs> Oh, I got tarot cards go recently. Home. Did I? T yeah, you saw them. Did I read your tarot? Yeah, you did. Yeah. Wait, what? no, you didn't read my tarot. Oh, I'm a good dang. Christian boy. I don't want to get my soul sucked out my brain or something. Christian? Yeah. No idea. <laughs> <laughs> no idea what? Christians couldn't have their tarot read. Christians also can't... Um, and you contact the dead on the board. A Ouija board. Oh. They can't use a Ouija board. Yeah, because you're opening yourself up to to super now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Who's this? Outlaw ringleader? More like man with no brain. Because he's about to die. Hey. Oh, he's dead. Oh, fuck. They're all over the joint. Down you go. Oh, that's Cass. Whoops. Hey, I missed. Fight my way through the ambush. <gasps> Randall! I knew he was going to be alive. Randall. That's my impersonation of you. Randall. That's your impersonation of me. Ra -ra 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 Randall. Yeah, it's 11.30 now. 11.29 to be precise. Why are people asking? Um, I don't know. That's their business, Adam. <gasps> he hated ghouls. His lips ain't moving. Hey, Mr. Sumgo2000, there's a problem with your mod. Oh, no. What if he's watching? Sorry? What if they're watching? Seems unlikely. Okay, bye, Kanala. If we don't see you, we'll see you. Bye, Kanala. Don't if... See you next time unless I see you first. That's the... But you know that expression where you imply that you'll kill them or something. What? You know? See you next time? Not if I see you first? That's about killing your friends? Maybe about avoiding them. I thought it was just, I'll see you, but what if, like, we go to the shops, but we didn't come together, and then I see you in an aisle, and I'm like, don't yawn while I'm talking to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being cheeky. I I'm sorry. I know, I know, I know, I so know. I couldn't not. I couldn't not. I wish I'd said so something a bit polite. To be listening to you and be deprived of oxygen or bored. Yeah, I'm breathtaking. Oh, I'm sorry. The depths of space are breathtaking. Oh, no, I would also describe them as as uh, 
uh, like is a beautiful sight. Never mind. Yeah, uh, turning into a zombie did make him surly, didn't it? I see you still don't have any manners. We got a lot Your lips still ain't moving. Just letting you know. Yeah, I knew you were fucking alive. You little shit. Oh, I'm over encumbered again. Over encumbered. How does it happen to me? But I'm such a good boy. Hey, buddy, you're fucking at shit. <laughs> oh. Hey, buddy, you're fucking at shit. Something awful happened to him. That's a shell. Sorry. Also, I think Something it's... awful happened to you. Oh, no, your eyes are just closed. Oh. oh. It's crazy that there was still so much pressure built up in their body. Not nice to kill the dead. <laughs> yeah, keep walking. Take me to your fucking shed or whatever. Stuff about it's interesting. What? So Ahada is saying that they say, I don't know who they is, but they say your dreams are the expression of your id, which is like subconscious raw instincts you learned as a child. What? So. So, so, they say your dreams are the expression of your id. The id is your subconscious raw instincts instilled as you as a child. Oh, I always joke about how I wish I can read and then I do things like this and then it becomes less funny because it becomes more sad. It's a scale. Spectrum. Funny to sad. Jokes are somewhere here. <laughs> <laughs> Jack liked that one. <laughs> Good. Oh, thank you. <laughs> tarot cards are fun, though. Uh -oh. I like doing tarot cards because some because I make it my mission to make sure everyone gets a positive reading. But um, a lot of the cards are just straight up negative. So the fun part for me is taking a lesson from the bad thing and trying to make it positive for everyone. It's a challenge sometimes. Sometimes I draw all negative cards and then it's like it's a good challenge. It's like, ooh, here is how this bad thing is actually good. I keep hearing about some courier making a fuss over at the strip. Must have delivered more than just mail. <gasps> you kidding me? I can sit on a log? <gasps> Fucking 10 out of 10 game of the year. Oh my god. Look at me. Why are you dressed like that? Uh, It looks sick. Oh, okay. That's why I dress like this. I look sick. <laughs> I'm so sick. Finally, Cass, we agree. <laughs> Brook, Bro Brookshire Shack. <gasps> Outhouse. Now you're in house. No, I'm at house. Oh, yes. I'm at house in the at house. Pickles. pickles? What about pickles? Do you like pickles? Yeah. Yeah. Is there extra pickle going? Pickle. What a rude thing <gasps> to say to me. <laughs> Thank you. Bless you. I've got pickles. You want some? <laughs> no, I hate pickles. I hate pickles. Read something to you. Bonnie, I don't quarters. know how to read death. Oh, uh, honey, your gun ain't on you. <laughs> That's pretty fucking intense. <laughs> hey, it's Randall. You finally fucking got here, you lazy sack of shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, no. We uh, did a swap. We got one of those hammers that's trying to fix itself. Okie dokie. Get all of this. <gasps> I love you. I need to get going. But actually, I'm just going to get closer. I don't. How dare that dog talk about pant, which he does not even wear? How dare he? 
Uh, everyone keeps asking the questions, if a dog wear, wore pants, would he wear them down there or would he wear them on his bum or whatever? But no one's asking the questions, why, why don't we ask them? You know? Well, they just say pant, pant, pant. Mm, yeah, they just demand the pants. They don't explain. Yeah, you're right. Wait, could you pickpocket the dog? Nah, I don't think I could. Uh. I'll try. Nah, yeah, you just you just tell them that you need to get going. Hey, give me your rat meat. She you is. stole the dog's food. I'll give you doomed food. a dog to die. Oh my god, he's being looked after. He can miss one meal. We can always miss one. We can always miss one meal. I can't. I get sad. <laughs> I get hungry and need food. Oh, fuck, I could go for some KFC right now. Oh, my God. How good is eating all the time? My girl likes to eating all the time. Eating all the time, but that girl is me. <laughs> my girl likes to eating all the time. Eating all the time, but that girl is me. I like eating. Hey, uh, weird question, but why is none of this stealing except when it's the tin can? For some fucking reason, you guys care about the tin can, but you don't care about this pack of ciggies. Or, the pack of ciggies, or is it a sponge that I'm going to clean it with? <laughs> oh, it's like one of those pet games where you have a pet and they're like, well, you know the most fun part of pet ownership is cleaning them. And you're like, yes. Most fun part of pet ownership is maintenance. I have seen this tweet and I love this tweet. This is a very good one. What's this? Mysterious old lady flips tarot card revealing a dude who looks exactly like me flying a hot air balloon into power lines. Me. Is that good? <laughs> That's very, very good. Give me all of your bullets. All right, let's talk. Okay. Oh. <laughs> it's the same question he asked me last time. No, you can't kill people for money. Yeah, I can. You got to get paid for... Uh, who's to say? I'd like to ask you a question. How'd you become a ghoul? Your lips still aren't moving. Is it the end? Hmm? Is it the end? Fringe star sign tweet. Oh, uh, yeah. Whoops. He. He, he, he. I have bangs and will tell you about the stars. Do you know all the star signs? Do you know what the... Do you know when someone's talking about I'm on the cusp of something? Do you know what they mean by that with star signs? No. No? I mean, I assume it is... Them being like born, so like say Monday is one star sign and Tuesday is another. They're born at like. Sorry, it just happens. <laughs> they're born at like midnight or thereabout. So it's like, oh, right on the cusp, but um, you are one or the other. That's just how time works. What's cusp? Tell more. I just hear people talking about, oh, I'm Aquarius, but I'm on the cusp of. Fucking Sergio or whatever. People have started talking recently about your sun and your moon star signs and like whether you're something rising. I don't know what that means. I draw the line at that. I know. Oh, some days are either end of one or... See you, Kayla. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye. Okay, Ethan is saying that some days are both. <laughs> yeah, that's Which weird. It is weird. Yeah. I hate that that's a thing. Why? It's fun. Everything's fun, Adam. People it's being bad true. about it, not fun. Just have fun. Most things are fun. No. I insist that you must have fun my way. Also, uh, it's more than just fun some people do make decisions and stupidly ruin their lives and others because of it yeah ruining your own life bad. imagine not wanting to know someone because you thought they were the wrong star sign 
That's terrible. That just happens, though. Like, every day, that happens. Multiple times. If you believe in star signs, you're wrong. I'm sorry to, that you had to find out like this. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't change your life based on it. It's a, it's a fun thing to have in common with someone or if you do like, I remember doing those little quizzes like in the back of magazines. It's like you put in your star sign and your crush's star sign and you like do all the like quiz things and you like add up all the numbers in your name or whatever. And then it's like, I remember I would do one that was like 90... To, it's like 99 or... Oh, that's something I just missed out on. That sucks. I missed out on that classic, like, put your name in, put the name of your girlfriend or whatever in, and we'll tell you what percentage you are of being in love forever, which is, you know, stupid or bullshit or whatever like that. But I'm, I just, I don't know. I, I, I'm sad that I... Um, I said that I, like, perfectly skipped that part of my life. You don't need a partner to do it. I never had any. Just put in people I like. You put in your crush's details. I did not, did not bother with any of that mess in I didn't really have any, any crushes school. as a teenager. Mm. Well, not crushes of people that, like, ruined my immediate. Because I went to an all-boys school. And uh, as a... Uh, as a uh, 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 I believe the kids are calling it straight. I want to say, yeah. As a straight guy, I didn't really um uh, have any crushes that I knew. I also didn't participate with either of the girls' schools that lived up the street from mine, as several of my colleagues did. <laughs> so I don't know why, but every time I talk about. For some reason, I always think about in year nine, I did a science drama um, competition, which was through a stage play. We had to explain a, a series of um, scientific principles or stuff like that. Uh, and it was like a competition between schools. And we did, uh, our one was called Anatomy of a Shootout, which was, we were all, uh, and it was all, uh, it had to all be done by students. We were yeah. supervised, obviously, but like it was written, produced, and everything only by students. Uh, and we had two directors, two basically two people who did all the behind the scenes stuff. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, it was called Anatomy of a Shootout, and it was like a, a like in a bar with um, uh, we were all playing gangsters or whatever. There's a shootout. We pause it and we're like, all right, let's walk you through everything that's happened here. Here's like one character throws up. We're like, here's why you throw up. Here's what happens when you throw up. Stuff like that. Um, uh, and uh, the, yeah, there was uh, two students. I think they were both in year 12 where most of us were quite young. So they were like two or three years ahead of us, which isn't a lot. But when you're 16, two or three years is like, pfft, might as well be forever away. But anyway, these two... These two people, it was very funny. One of them was like really, they were friends. They were really yeah. good friends. But one of them was incredibly strict and stern. And the other one was the healing bomb who would come through when the first guy would, first guy would come through. I forget their names. It was Justin. Justin was like the healing bomb one. And I forget the other guy's name. But we'll call them, for the sake of the story, we'll call them Aaron and Justin. Yeah. But Aaron would come through to be like, that's bad, that's bad, that's ch blah, 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 blah. And he'd just be like a force striding across the stage, um, uh, like just moving people apart through sheer force of personality. And Justin would come through being like, it's amazing, keep doing that, just change these couple of things or whatever, yada, yada, yada. And... Uh, we had a musical number as part of the show, which was. Do you know the shot? Do you know the song? You shot me down. Yes. Bang bang. <laughs> have I told this story before? I think so. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> I, I just I get I maybe it's because you told me, but I'm like I bet I could guess the song. <laughs> anyway, um, so I was with. They were having like a phone call. Um, I was in the car with Aaron. And, yeah, he must have been in year 12 because he was driving. So he must have been at least 18. Yeah. <laughs> he was driving and he was on speakerphone with Justin. And they were talking about um, something to do with that. It was like day before something really important was happening. 
Aaron was stressed out of his mind because he was always stressed out of his mind. And Justin was like, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. But he's over the phone trying to calm Aaron down and Aaron's just not having any of that. And they, they'd still been like trying to, I think it might've been something to do with the music because I yeah. think Justin was playing that song so that they could hear it. And Aaron is, Aaron like pulls the car to a hole off to the side of the road. It takes a deep breath and he's like, Justin, can you please stop playing that fucking song? It is not helpful right now. It was very funny. <laughs> you shot me down. Bang, bang. That awful sound. Bang, bang. The day. Yeah, there were two musical numbers actually. That's right. There was that, and we did because uh, one guy, one character, my character. That's right. I just ah. remember that. My character smoked, uh, and we we did a big thing on cigarettes will kill you and stuff like that. We had a big musical number with a different song where everyone it was like a big cigarette that one person was holding, and everyone's like adoringly looking at the cigarette, and it goes across the stage or whatever like that. And it's the song is "I Love You, Baby." <laughs> na, 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 na. And then we just have cue cards that are like the ingredients of cigarettes. <laughs> that sounds fun. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. It's the only time I ever d- did uh, drama at high school. Yeah. And um, I'm sad that we never did it again. We won that year. It was really fun. Had a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, that's a story from my high school years. It's a story from 15 years ago. God. Canala, please take care of yourself. That's horrible. Jesus. Yeah, look after yourself. Yeah. Uh, If you uh, need to stop watching the stream (laughs) and be with your parents or something like that, I understand. Yeah. God, I'm sorry. That's... Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Don't be... Yeah, speak to someone if you need to. That's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's on your mind? Towards the youngster. Mm, that's a lot of stuff. When I mark up yeah, you talk a lot. I'm downright giddy. Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. I have any more questions. Just point me in the right dr- I should have a look. direction. I should see if I can... I'll grab my tarot cards and see if we can make match them up to people. We should get a Sans Pants tarot card set made. It's so much of what everyone in the company believes in to be universally acknowledged as true tarot readings. Oh, which one would be the negative one? Which one would be the negative one what? Tarot cards. If we got all made into tarot cards. Yeah, I couldn't tell you who. It could be any one of us. Could be the super negative one. The other day. Sorry, I thought... I thought thought Tatanus just said sausage, but they said sans pants. I should recognise that word. I'm definitely not hungry. I went over to my friend's house. Um, It was her and her dad. And as I walk in... They're like, hello, would you like a sausage? And there's like one sausage left over from their meal they've just had. And I was like, oh, okay. And before I could say anything, he hands me a glass of champagne. It's like, have champagne. And all of a sudden I've, I'm two seconds into my meeting at this house. I've got champagne in one hand, sausage in the other. God, I've, I'll never be that well greeted again. <laughs> Whoa, fuck. Uh-oh. 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 Oh shit, it's dogs. Don't worry, Cass. Save this me from is the unnecessary dogs. evil. <laughs> Fucking dogs. Oh, man. This guy's packing shit. <gasps> Trail carbine. You attack me with a fucking knife? You got what you fucking deserved. Oh, do to diddly? Eaten. Sorry? Ooh, eat the person. Do to diddly asks, why do we say sorry? Um when like we die and we talk about it to other people, we have like a lexical gap in English where sorry is used to apologize, but also to express sympathy. Um, so, but then the, it makes you this thing, which I do as well, even though I know it's not what people mean. 
where like people will say like you know something bad will happen and someone will be like oh I'm so sorry and I'll be like oh it's okay it's not your fault and it's like almost like this weird humor deflection thing oh my god holy shit oh my god oh my god oh my god okay let's move the death counter up shall we Sorry, what were you saying, Cass? Ah, oh, you scared me. <laughs> it was a bear. It's just a fucking bear. Um, that shit's scary. That wasn't a bear. Yes, it was. That was not a bear. Yeah, why? It's a bear. It might have used to been a bear. It's still a bear. It's not a bear. Bears don't have spikes coming out of their arms. It's a fucking bear. No, it's not. It's a bear. Just a bear. Tell you what, this is a cross to bear. Am I using that right? No. Well, I I just... Look, maybe you think you are using it correctly, but if you are, then that's fucking intense. Oh, whoops. Did I say something bad? <laughs> yes, might have used to be a bear. That checks. That tracks. The fact that people can understand each other is wild. God, that was fucking intense. Like sex in the woods. It was fucking intense. Oh, okay. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, (laughs) I love you, baby. Baby. See, now you're using the trail rifle. You're still going to fucking die, I guess. There you go. Why are you fucking using that Bowie knife for, you idiot? See? He loved David. Why are you using that David Bowie knife? I think a funny thing to do is referring to very well-known celebrities by just their first name. It just seems too familiar. Like, um, we watched that Adam Sandler special and we were like, come on, Adam. That's not his name. His name's Adam Sandler. You've been like, hey, Adam. I who mean, else, I suppose. Who else is famous? David Bowie? And be like, oh, yeah, David's music. Oh, Listen yeah. to I David. I love David. That song. David does that one, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a David classic. Okay, that went. I don't look forward to the bear direction. surprising Adam again because I'll get a shot. Bear's not gonna surprise me a second time, hopefully. <laughs> Got him. All right, let's save the game here, cause why not? Um, where did that bear come from? It's just behind me. It was. It's spooky. It's scary. It's gonna sneak up on you. The fact that something that big can sneak up on you. There are so many situations in like scary films and stuff or like video games. I can't there's a lot of there's a lot of fear out there that exists conceptually, but the idea of fathoming it myself, I can't quite. Like I can't imagine being as scared as I would definitely be. Uh excuse? So like all these situations like if you're walking along then all of a sudden a bear's behind you. Like that that's scary like shocking now like something wasn't there and now something is. I can't, I can only imagine, and I'm sure it's not going to be accurate, the amount of fear I would truly feel if all of a sudden a bear was behind me. Because I'm like, oh yeah, you just It'd probably- It'd be scary to discover that there was a bear oh, in there. You... Is it following me? Where is it? Oh, good. Cass, you're doing a good job. I'm helping. You are. Did you get it? Slow my run. All right, it's dead. Eh, bear. There's a bear in there. Does that? That doesn't. It's not a reference to tracks, is there? Play school is only like Australia, yeah. Maybe neighbors isn't. So maybe play school is. <laughs> neighbors is Australian though. It's exported around the world. I don't think play school is. People know what I'm. People know this song. Other than Australians, there's a bear in there. And a chair as well. There are 
people with games and stories to tell. Now let me sing this song on my own. Open wide, come inside. It's play school. It's a children's song. It is a children's song. Uh, no, it, uh, yes, it is. But it's also the... It's the theme song for play school. The titular show. There's a bear school. in there. And a chair as well. There are people with games. Who's your There's favorite teddy on... To um, uh, Who's your favorite toy? Plush toy in play school. Um, I liked the Teds. Big Ted and little Ted. They I, were teddy bears. I had a Ted when I was younger. Aww. No, I still have the Ted. Aww. Ted's in storage, but Ted didn't go to charity. <laughs> there are people with games. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. This is stupid. I shouldn't have kept running. Yep, I shouldn't have kept running. All right, so um, let's up that death counter. Up the death counter. Up the death. Oh, Mr. Squiggle, yes. Oh, Mr. Squiggle, fuck yeah. Mr. Squiggle drawing people upside down. How did he draw people? He didn't draw people. He draw things upside down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But how did he... Cause he had a nose. A, yeah, but it, no, in real life, how do they make the puppet draw a thing? I think they just... They were just good. That's insane. Agreed. That's real good. I'm liking this new setup with the two screens. Yeah, two screens is better than one. All right, let's try this again, shall we? Oh, my God. I think, yeah. <laughs> yeah, watching <gasps> Mrs. Squiggle and being like, Mrs. Squiggle, this isn't a real drawing that it is. Um, the... What's that? <laughs> Growing up, Mr. Squiggle. That's... Uh, Bob Ross. I only recently started watching Bob Ross and it's great. And I remember seeing a tweet. I can't remember off the top of my head who did it. But it's about like watching Bob Ross and it's like, oh, what do you mean amber orange for white snowy hills, Bob Ross? You're crazy. And then like 15 minutes later, it's like, oh, you beautiful bitch. You've done it or something like that. Um, it's very much like that. I, I would highly recommend just sitting with a friend, my friend and I just had a really lazy, nice day. We were just lying on the couch watching Bob Ross being like, what are you doing, Bob? You've fucked it now. Oh, Bob, it's all gone to shit. Bob, you've done it. You've pulled through, Bob. We were not worthy of you. It's so good. And it's really good to see, um, like, I don't do uh, much of any art that involves layers and planning. So... Um, seeing it come together stage by stage and making something look worse to look better first, which is not obviously how you'd think of it. It's just really cool. It's just really cool. I really like it. I should watch Bob Ross more often. It's just calming. I get it. I really get it. <laughs> My ammunition is weighing me down. <laughs> Sorry, green chocolate. I won't. What happened? They said I swear a lot. You fucking do. <laughs> it was just for that little bit. We were very sleepy and we were amazed by Barbara. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I'm usually very polite. Just not true. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's make sure we've saved. Twitch streams of people drawing would be so satisfying. You can watch those. Yeah. Oh, no, Kanala's talking about them. Uh, yes. Nah, drawing's real nice. I started painting a bit recently because I had a dream... And I was good at it in my dream. <laughs> so I did it okay. in real life. Better than my dreams where I can do the splits and no, then I wake up and I can't do face, the splits. Buddy. Ooh, you can fix it by giving him not a face anymore. I just did. Ooh. Cooking <laughs> streams. Oh my God, I do a cooking stream. Cook along with Cass as she tries her best. Do you know how many times I've set off the fire alarm in this house? This, yeah. I don't live here. It should be zero. <laughs> 
Drag out, motherfuckers. Did I talk about the cheese at the Christmas party yet? Uh, I don't think so. Cheese at the Christmas party? Well, I got really excited for the Sans Pants Christmas party because I was going to do a baked brie. Um, super easy. You just like get a chunk of brie or camembert or whatever, like a soft cheese. You like stab lots of holes in it, push rose like fresh rosemary into all the holes you make and then cover it in whatever you want. So I do like a fig balsamic vinegar. So it's nice and sweet. Um, it's three things. It's not hard to do. Um, but you put it in the oven and you just bake it until it's all gooey and melty and you like dip chips into it. Exceptionally good. So easy to do. Can't recommend it enough. Um, and then at the Christmas party, I got really excited about this. So I put it in the oven and I did a double layered one. And then eventually someone was like, Hey, what's that smell? And I was like, Oh my gosh, the cheese. And like ran to the oven, opened it up, pulled the cheese out. The entire top of the cheese was black. Um, and I was like, oh, oh should be able to see this. Oh, fuck. no, that's not good. <sighs> I fucking knew it. I was As I was walking there, I'm like, what if? What if you can't hear shit right now? Fuck me. Oh, gas, you're in trouble. Oh, fuck. Yep, there it is. There's the tripwire I just walked through and didn't even fucking notice. Good. Good. Just going to turn the volume up just a tick. Yes. Sorry, you were telling us about your cheese. Yeah, so I took the cheese out of the oven. The top was black and I was like, oh, it should be fine because it's just the top that's burnt because all the rest is just melting cheese. So I cut off the black top of the cheese, put it just on a nearby tray and then was like, I'll put the other one back in so it's like crisping up a little bit, put it back in and I put an oven timer on. I must have done it incorrectly because all of a sudden the fire alarm was going off and um, then I didn't find out about this till a bit later. Zoe was like, oh, um, because Zoe was saying the fire alarm was going off. And I was like, I don't remember the fire alarm going off. She's like, yeah, you set it off the Christmas party. I was like, I don't remember that. And And what had happened was that the second time the fire alarm, well, when the fire alarm Uh-oh. went off because I burnt the cheese for the second time, I got so Uh-oh. embarrassed that I oh, went outside. It's sh- hectic. <laughs> shit's getting hectic. Who the fuck is Bubba? Good night, Kinetic. Time to lay some traps on my own, you fucking monsters. You fucking mongrels. I hope you enjoy this shit. We should do a cooking stream. We just send out a thing. Be like, this is when the stream is. This is the ingredients you'll need. Go get them all. Here's the stuff. Like, give give everyone a list. Be like, these are the things. We'll all cook together. And then while everything's in the oven, we can all chat. Yeah, that sounds lovely. There are no cameras in the kitchen. I don't think it can actually happen. Unless you're okay with me communicating as though... We're having a conversation on speakerphone. All right, cool, cool, fucking. We could do it with, it's fine. We can do it without, we don't need the thing. <laughs> fucking down you go, you son of a bitch. Oh, there's more of them coming. Oh, thank God your legs are just destroyed. Yes, that's very helpful to me. Oh, but you have a fucking rifle or some shit. Not anymore, you don't, you dumb piece of crap. Oh, come on, Baba. Baba, please. Baba, why are you doing this to me? Baba, don't you know? Baba, don't you hear me? (laughs) (laughs) Is that bad guy? Yeah, I have to assume. Bad guy turns out not the same as bad boy. Stream from iPad. I need an iPad. <laughs> All right. What if we just quickly slipped past Maybe I'll him? take the sticker off the camera right. on my laptop See and I'll later, stream Bubba. cooking for everyone. <laughs> the government's allowed to watch me make toffee. Government's Government and you guys. <laughs> the year is 1978. <laughs> toffee making has been outlawed, finally. Um, I was speaking to... A friend on the weekend, at the weekend, to use the Queen's English. But um, we were talking about, I think I was like, yeah, I'll make something. I'll make you guys fudge. And they're like, oh, you know, fudge is so tricky. And that's when I learned that I probably don't make real fudge 
because the version I make is just not hard. And then they're like, oh, yeah, well, um, you can make toffee, like Russian fudge. And I was like, oh, Russian toffee. I make Russian toffee. I love Russian toffee. And they were like, oh, it takes a while to, like, get all the sugar melting right. And I was like, oh, I must not make it right. Again, it's not hard. <laughs> not as in, like, it's really easy for me to cook. It's just I could, It's I tried to make vegan white chocolate once. That was very difficult to the point of I didn't do it successfully. There's a really good, oh, there's a really good, um, my favorite, one of my favorite recipes for fudge is, happens to be entirely vegan. Um, the non-vegan version Ugh. is fine, but it's just not as nice. Um, if you get vegan white chocolate, oh. which doesn't usually taste I'm sorry. as great by itself. Are they mannequins? No. Nah. Oh no! Yeah, they're people. Mannequins I'm sorry, can't but bleed. you're stop. She was a bad person. If I brought her back, she would have hurt me. Also, she has some thin red paste on her. Oh, that's just sad. Is that her blood? Is the thin red paste blood? Um, presumably it's part of her. Ugh. Outlaw hussy. That was my nickname in high school. Because <laughs> I wasn't an in-law hussy. <laughs> you didn't marry it in, you were born in. You could actually just not kill Bubba, maybe. That would be funny. <laughs> I only know that song from you in television. I've never heard it in real life from the thing it's from. I have no idea what it is. What is that song? Yeah, that one. What's it from? Is that from American Jack Tale? Can either. someone tell us? <laughs> no, I think I'd know if it was from American Tale. I've never seen that. And I'm like, oh, what are the things I haven't seen? Let's go through them one by one. <laughs> I have seen American Tale. I feel so certain it's not from that. That's why like, I believe you. You doing well there? Yeah, I'm sad I didn't buy. Oh, <laughs> you're sad you didn't buy <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> it's not the one I want. Oh, okay. Bob. Ah, good old Bob. Yes, it's smooth, dark, and it tastes like the texture is smooth, and I don't love it. Uh, I'm trying to keep Bubba alive. You're off camera, Jack. Come in. There you go, cutie. You look like a, a hat for Adam. Yeah, hey, cutie. Adam. Yeah. Mm. Oh, you know what song we need to bring back? What, that song? Yeah. Hey, cutie. Yeah. Even, Even though, though you're so far away, away, I feel your hands on my body every time I think of me. Hey, cutie. <laughs> What a jam. Yeah. That's the fucking best. That is good. Let's open this safe. <laughs> yeah, give me all that shit. Dark chocolate, you're all right. I you prefer regular dark chocolate, though. This is smooth. Mm. I think I just prefer uh, regular milk chocolate. Yeah, it's just better. Hey, Cass. Do you know what I say uh, in the bedroom? No, why would I know that? <laughs> Double barrel choke me, Daddy. All right, uh, I'll be here. Oh, I fucking broke my legs. Hey, it's Bubba. Bubba. Oh, my God. <laughs> Speak, speaking of broken legs, Bubba. Hey, no, guts, leave him alone. Don't think that's an asshole. Leave, leave him alone. <laughs> leave him alone. I wanted to keep him alive. Ah, uh, guts, that sucks, buddy. I get it, though. Hey, Adam. Hey, Adam. Yeah? Kanala has asked what I look like with glasses. Can I do... I'm going to show everyone my favourite thing. You ready? Sorry to anyone who's seen this before, but also you're welcome. Hey, Adam. Yeah? <laughs> Neither of us can see properly. <laughs> 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 oh, that's great. You love that joke so much that when we were stumbling home from our party on New Year's, <laughs> you stopped me... 
as we were walking back, even though I think you had like a, you rolled your ankle or something like that. Or was that someone else in our group? I'd someone was limping and you stopped the group to do that joke. It's a great someone joke. Someone had rolled their ankle and I think it might have been you. Was it wasn't me. So I would. Yeah, New Year's. I'm, That's what I'm I pretty said. complaining. I would have complained about that after if I'd rolled my yeah, ankle. I remember that you thing. were pretty drunk as well. Oh, that doesn't sound like me at all. I don't do that. Yeah, that's a good point. Okay. I got my glasses fixed recently, and they cleaned them. And they were dirty, but also rude. (laughs) (laughs) I I feel like they had to clean them just to, like, you know, so that they could work on them. No, because they were just replacing the gum bit, the nose fucking rubbers or whatever. And they went and cleaned them. Look, I'm not complaining, but... I like, yeah. I like that Ethan's pointing out that I made the best joke that I could have shut the stream down on. Mm. Which but, joke? Um, I have to assume it, it was the... Yeah, I have to assume <laughs> it was that joke. <laughs> that was what so he cool. doesn't...